Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Scorpio. I've just, I've just been kind of talking to my higher self and I asked for a word for you. Well, the word that came out was greed and it's not about you. I don't feel like it's about you. I feel like this is a person in your life who just keeps wanting more and more and more. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase my extended videos on my website. Or join the membership on my channel. The most cost-effective way of doing it is by joining my Patreon there. I'm not doing private readings at this time. This person uh, has never, um, wow. This person has never had boundaries set upon them, ever. This person hasn't learnt. Uh, I don't think this person was told off when they were naughty as a child. <laughs> no, 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 you mustn't do that. They, I, they've never had any of this. They, they, this person does not understand boundaries. I'm just getting that from the overall vibe being the chariot and then because of it seven of swords that's the first thing I picked up is that this person just just charges forwards it doesn't doesn't matter it's mine I'm gonna have it I, I it's fine I'm taking it this person's probably even shoplifted and, and things like that. Probably done crimes, like real crimes, and, and actually never got in trouble for it either. And if they have, they didn't learn from it. This person has never had to deal with consequences. What do you need to know right now? Nine of Swords in reverse. This is completely hopeless. This this is a, a situation now that's there's no winning for you. It's completely hopeless. There is a feeling of desperation and sadness and, and torment. Tell me more. I just ate a raw carrot. It was delicious. <laughs> I haven't had a raw carrot for ages. At least like the crunch of it. Oh, it's good. Feeling that vegetable crunch. This person never accepts other people's desires and wants and needs. It's all about me. Mm. This person could be a cancer. <laughs> or a Taurus. Probably a Gemini. Your magpies. I feel like the magpies are important. I can hear them. It's like, uh, I'm, f I'm feeling the energy of the magpies when they're bullying something. <laughs> they're, they, they're just kind of doing it for fun. That's what this person's like. I think that's one of the things about being a reader, if you're a new reader, you come into it, you sort of pick up not just what the cards are telling you, what you're feeling, what's going on around you. It's all kind of important. Oh, 
beautiful little messages from the universe. Your, your feeling is that if you give them what they want and you keep giving what them what they want, you'll earn your place in their heart. I think you really look up to this person. But that's not doing you any favours. Anything else? Scorpio needs to know right now. The tower in reverse. I, I sort of feel like with that, it, it it's because you want to earn your place in their heart as well. You sort of avoid any kind of conflicts with this person, any 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 arguments, any any sort of any. You feel like disaster coming, so you kind of step away and 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 give them what they want to uh, stop. I feel like this person throws like um, the end of the relationship in your face a lot, so you you bend a lot for this person to avoid the conflicts, to avoid the end of the relationship. If you're married to this person, they throw divorce in your face a lot. If you're not, they throw you know, I'm gonna leave you. In your face it's done we're over get your things and leave kind of thing all the time to get what they want as well this is how they operate and the tree just lost a leaf isn't it time you set some boundaries Isn't it, isn't it time for you to start thinking about you and if this person keeps throwing those threats at you, all right then, go ahead and leave. I know that's hard because I think, you know, from what I see, you really love this person, but this person doesn't understand love the way that you do. don't think they've ever really truly been shown it as a child or growing up so I don't think they understand what it means to be truly loved to to love I don't think they love anybody I don't think they even love themselves maybe in a narcissistic way me 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 but not not in that beautiful light spiritual way that you know Love yourself. They, 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 they have none of that going on. It's time you, you set yourself some boundaries and said, you know, you can't always get what you want. I have needs too. So what's coming up in the near future? This is your time to say, is this worth it? Is this relationship worth it? Am I getting anything out of it? And what are you getting out of it, Scorpio? Is the sex good? No? Oh, I, yeah, no, I didn't think so. Uh, do they do they care about you? Do they give you back rubs? Foot rubs? Do they uh, make an effort for you? In anything? I mean, do they even provide for you? Anything? What are you getting out of this relationship? Pros and cons time. It's time to look at the pros of this relationship. What are you getting out of it? It's always good to write a list. I remember I wrote a list. And my ex found it. <laughs> and uh, adjusted it for me. That told me a lot. That told me a lot about that person. Like that they were snooping through my things as well i i feel like that's important to say like this person is looking through your stuff aren't they it's 
excuse me, that carrot's giving me hiccups. I need my screen light. I don't have, I'm not using my green light today. It's, it's, it's too Gestapo. Yeah, Vic is making you read cards. No, I just want to read cards because I love it. <laughs> what you, this is what you need to do. Sorry, back to the story here. What are you getting out of this relationship? This is your time to look at it. And if you're not really getting anything out of it, why are you in it? And why do you love this person? There's no harmony in your relationship. There. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 So. Yeah, there's no balance, there's no harmony, It's it, it sucks, to be honest with you. This relationship has, has not got any goodies. This person is an overbearing, authoritative, um, domineering uh, tyrant. A little bit old-fashioned as well. Like, imagine that this reading isn't always going to be for women, but I think that if you are a woman, this person expects you to be put in your place. Washing dishes in the kitchen, making food, being the little woman. And if it's the other way around, this person expects you to provide everything for them. You pay for everything. But I'm the little woman. I, I can't do anything. This person is too old fashioned and it's not pretty. It's I see what you're going through in the near future. It looks like it's it's difficult for you to concentrate on the things that you actually need to be concentrating on because you're trying to make this relationship work and it's making everything kind of fall apart around you. Best you can hope for. So this is the six of wands. When it's this way around, it's like, yes, winning, victory. When it's this way around, it's the opposite of that. If you want to look it up, go up to a Biddy Tower and, and look up the uh, Six of Wands in reverse. That's the best you can hope for. I know, like, you've come here because you, you know, you want me to tell you this. I kind of have. I want you to see it for yourself because I kind of feel like the end of a relationship kind of has to come from you. You can't see it with like your friends, your parents, your, you know, siblings, whatever, saying this person is a butthole. They are hurting you. They are harming you. They are no good for you. You can't see that. And it makes you fight for them even harder. You kind of have to see this for yourself. This is not a victory for you. You're never going to win in this. Okay. You need to see that for yourself. And I don't like saying it. I want you to win. But it's, it's just not going to happen. So you... Temperance in reverse. This is an imbalance, really. Unbalanced. I'm just feeling my emotions here and, and uh, this relationship's always going to keep you in this place. You're always going to be on the back foot, unbalanced. There's no, uh, no give and take in this relationship. Take. Always. You're never going to be this person's equal. Have they ever actually even told you that they love you? And if they have, why did they say it? They didn't say it for no reason. They said it to win something, right? 
think about that. Then there's more crap to come from this person. There's there's more to be revealed. Tell me more. There is more coming. Uh, hold tight. Hold on to your butt. Something's coming. Something um, pretty unpleasant. Something that shows you how truly emotionally immature this person is. What? Whatever it is, it offers you your new start. Uh, this is a really good card for an outcome and I, for some reason, hate it. I hate this being your outcome. This is a really beautiful card. It's a really good card for some reason. I am getting bad feelings from this. This is about wish fulfillment. And happiness. I think this person's really bad for you because this is what you see when you look at this person and you can't see how bad they are for you. You keep wishing that this person will validate you and love you and if they just would, if they just could, you might feel whole. You might feel like you've never been made to feel. And that is an illusion, my love. This person's not gonna give that to you. And I say this a lot, but you're the only person that could give you that validation, that self-love. This person doesn't even have self-love. I'm going to take this into extended in a minute. We're going to ask about this person for you. How do they really feel about you? Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. But clarify this outcome. Please. Say no more. Dun, 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 dun. Death metal music. Slow death metal music. Uh, okay. The devil. It's, uh, it's not a great god. It's the devil. It's about toxic relationships. It's about the rot setting in. Look at the, there was a fly in the middle of there of the, pentagram, inverted pentagram, fly just eating away at the rot, causing more decay. That's what this person is for you. They are your fly in your soup, soup being your life. They are the fly in your soup. The spanner in your works. The devil on your shoulder. Sorry, I'm, I picked up the wrong cards. That's weird. I, uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull you your love lyric for the day. That just freaked me out. <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking of what, what lyric you need, so something just came out. It was weird. I'm not going to show you. It was just weird. Okay. It wasn't relevant, so that's why I'm not going to show you. It was just weird. Like, what? Why the fuck is a love song coming out? <laughs> okay. This makes a lot of sense. The flame has died and the fire is gone. Oh, this empty bed is a night alone. I realized that long ago. Fooling by Def Leppard. Tune. And a uh, little bit of advice 
from the Moonology Oracle for you. Balance spirituality and practicality. Sorry, my, my screen's gone out again. Balance spirituality and practicality. That makes a whole lot of sense to me. I just need to put it into words. It's like balancing your spirituality so that you, you know you feel like you're in a relationship what makes you happy have you when have you experienced happiness with this person and that's where the practicality comes into it when have you ever actually felt happiness with this person you it, it's like you're just chasing the happiness you're chasing it because you need validation you need it i know you do but here's a big secret you don't need it from somebody else you get this from within yourself. You give yourself validation so you never have to find it in someone else. That's your power. And when you find that power, you're unstoppable. Thank you for joining me. See you later.